check engine light is on, so we connect the scanner to read the codes. Hmm, it looks like the differential pressure sensor is faulty. What is the differential pressure sensor? Differential pressure sensor is an input sensor that measures pressure difference before and after the DPF filter. ECU constantly monitors DPF condition by receiving signals from differential pressure sensor. If the DPF pressure hose gets clogged or damaged, or the sensor circuit is open or short to the ground, or the sensor itself goes faulty, ECU will trigger related trouble codes. In this video, we are going to inspect and replace the differential pressure sensor and perform DPF regeneration using G-Scan. Without further ado, let's get started. This 2012 Mercedes-Benz GLK was brought to the shop with DPF light on. Let's connect G-Scan and check if the vehicle has any trouble codes. Select Diagnosis, select Mercedes-Benz. Select Automatic Selection, Select Drive, select Engine Control Unit and hit OK. Select DTC Analysis. By looking at the codes, we can suspect either the pressure sensor is faulty or the circuit is short to the ground. You can hit the magnifying glass to search information about the code. Let's check the live data of the sensor. Go to Data Analysis. Hit the search icon and type differential. Here is the DPF differential pressure sensor. Check the box and hit select item. Let's select other items as well. Air mass and ash content of DPF. Hit select item and hit graph. We had a sudden spike in the pressure sensor reading while we wrapped the engine, but for the most of the time, the sensor is showing no reading even though we wrapped the engine. Here is a short illustration of DPF system. Differential pressure sensor is located near the DPF, measuring pressure difference between before and after the DPF. The ECU is constantly monitoring input signal from this sensor and it determines the condition of the DPF. If the hose is broken or the circuit is open or short to the ground or sensor is faulty, the ECU will trigger the code. Let's remove the sensor. These two hoses are connected to the differential pressure sensor. Their condition was okay. We used a multimeter to check the resistance. The old sensor showed 1 mega ohm, whereas the new sensor showed 1.2 kilo ohm. Clearly, the old sensor was faulty. Let's install the new sensor. Let's connect the G-Scan and check the live data. Go to Data Analysis in Engine Control Unit. Watch for the differential pressure sensor reading while revving the engine. We can see the sensor is working properly. If you want to change the unit in the data, you can do so by double tapping the unit. Now we are looking at the data in Kilo Pascal. Let's go to special function. Select regeneration of DPF while driving. 
Always read the description carefully. Satisfy the precondition and hit OK. Read the description carefully and we recommend you to follow the steps explained in the OEM service manual. Start the engine. Hit OK. You should drive the vehicle no faster than 50 km per hour. Drive the vehicle until the function status changes to finished. Hit OK. Regeneration was completed successfully. Turn the ignition off. Hit OK and turn the ignition on and hit OK. Function is completed. That's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please consider subscribing and set the alarm to all so you don't miss our latest video. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to know anything about diagnostics, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.